All right, my friends, today I'm working on a special request. Uh, one of my viewers had asked uh, if I could do a quick demo on how to remove your DIC panel here from the inside of these C4, early C4 Corvettes, 84 to 89. So if you're not familiar, this was uh, part of our first generation driver information center panel that came with the uh, Atari Dash Corvettes. Uh, basically just a, a series of rocker switches that you'd move back and forth to get different uh, metrics to show on your dashboard. So of course your upper left you get an oil pressure, off oil temperature, range off, trip odometer, reset, coolant temp off. Okay that's what I get for not putting my, air, my uh, phone on airplane mode again. So as I was saying this was just our DIC panel here and this would be how you'd flip through the different metrics you'd want to see on the center dash which of course I took the dash out of this car long ago. So all that does is pop up these metrics on there and then you can switch to English to metric if that one wasn't frozen. But real quick so I can show our, uh, our, our viewer here what they were looking for. First things first, you're gonna wanna take obviously these screws out here to remove this outer panel, right? Okay, we've got those out already. This is removed. Now of course it's a little bit easier just because I've got the dash out uh, of this already, or the dash top I should say. Um, you've got four screws there, and there's going to be two more on this other side where your other bezel comes across on your instrument panel, but I don't have those in right now. So that one is out. I may actually save that one. That's not a bad piece. Um, and then when you get to the actual DIC panel itself, there's only three 7 millimeter bolts that hold this entire assembly on. You do not need to take these uh, smaller bolts out right here. Those actually stay with the DIC panel. So let me... Uh, explain this to you or show you as we get this out. So you're going to take one 7 mil out here, another 7 millimeter out there, and your actually your third one is right here. And the assembly as it breaks from being old and fragile. Let me get that last one out there in the center there. That one's out. And that one just doesn't want to come out, so... Okay, there we go. So, as it comes out of here, you'll see on the back side of this, it's got a retainer right here, or where your plug goes in. So, if I'm lucky, this will pull out. That pulled out for me. And then you've got one harness. That harness feeds directly over into the instrument panel. And guys, that's, that's it. That takes that whole thing out of there. And that's what that assembly looks like when it's removed from the car. So nothing too difficult. You can also get to the back side of this if you need to change the bulbs out. There's your bulb stack up there. And of course, this is that plastic uh, ribbon that they use for the electronics in the early, in the 70s and 80s. So that's basically what you got there. So that's it for this one here. Um, I'll be back probably. I'll show some other things. Taking out of the dashboard here just for you so you can see on the C4 at least, early C4s. Here's your um, uh, interior chime module. There's your starter relay right there. This one is, uh, don't get me lying, I forget which one that one is. This one is the delay module, which leaves your interior lights on uh, for 30 seconds after you come in and out. And there's your flasher bulb, and that is, that, you know, I can't remember what that fuse is for now off the top of my head. It's for some one of the functions of the car. So a lot of the stuff here is tied in. Of course, there's your mass airflow burn-off relay on the early cars. These do not have them on the 87s and above. I can't remember what year they changed that. And then, of course, from here, if I don't get bit by a snake, there's your um, computer right there. So that's going to wrap it up for me today on this special pull or teardown for you guys. If you got any other teardowns you want to see in this car or this era of uh, Corvettes, let me know. I can probably help you out there and uh, we'll go from there. But thanks a lot, guys, for checking in, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.